As you heard her mention today is the first official day of the Wyndham Golf Championship in Greensboro. Earlier this morning, I was able to speak with the director of the tournament, Bobby Powell, to tell us which players to watch and the overall fan experience. Well, certainly Justin Thomas is the biggest name in our field, and, and we're thrilled to have him. We don't always get to have players of his stature with us, but he's definitely somebody that moves the needle. So uh, obviously the spotlight's on him. I believe he just teed off a few minutes ago. We have a lot of names, really, though. There's 156 players in the field, and you have players that are past champions and fan, uh, fan favorites like Webb Simpson and Brant Snedeker and JT Poston and Siwoo Kim. You have other players that are uh, Ryder Cup captains, like both uh, Luke Donald and Zach Johnson in our, our field. You have some major championship winners like Adam Scott, Hideki Matsuyama, Gary Woodland, Shane Lowry, and Lucas Glover. And then you also have guys that traditionally play our event that are uh, you know from this area, maybe they're regional in scope uh, with their, their upbringing or, or, or family. Guys like Chris Kirk and... Brendan Todd, Russell Henley, and, and um, Matt Kuchar, and then other players like Sam Burns and Sung J.M. And I could go on and on, pretty much give you the whole feel, but, but there's a lot. There's a lot of different categories of players out here that are exciting to watch. Excellent. And we are showing some video of this incredible sandcastle that people can enjoy, too, at the championship. What's the story about that? Well, really, that's a that's credit to Wyndham Rewards and their marketing and activation teams. They they really like to push the envelope and, and bring something new to the fans every year. One of the things that has become iconic with our event has been the beach ball and the sand castle and the Adirondack chairs and a lot of those things that that bring about those uh, visions of a, a Wyndham vacation. And so that sand castle, probably more than any, has been the most iconic image. Mm -hmm. If you've been out to the tournament the last couple of years, you've seen that we've actually brought that out onto the golf course. We act, we actually have it on the 18th tee box, and it'll it'll get picked up a little bit in the broadcast over the weekend. But that sandcastle, then, uh, I say it's like a sandcastle on steroids, and, and really you have to come <laughs> out and experience it to believe it. But it is two stories. Um, it's interactive. There's some miniature putting greens up on top that's designed for kids and just a lot to experience. But really, it's the it's the window rewards key to win area where you can uh, read, you know, you basically swipe a hotel room key for uh, a chance at prizes. Ah, OK, awesome. And we know a lot of work goes into the fan amenities each and every year. What is the planning process like for that? Well, it, it'll start. Pretty quickly this fall, we obviously like to do a um, a deep dive into our our pros and cons and and uh, figure out what worked, what didn't work. And, and this fifty, excuse me, this fifty two week cycle is is pretty crazy. But um, you know, we'll we'll start probably in earnest late in the fall and and certainly into the early part of the year with uh, actually with Wyndham's marketing team trying to figure out what they want to do for the coming year and and you know. It's, I tell people a lot of times it's a little bit like a construction industry where you're designing things. There's blueprints and drawings and things that get uh, certified and, and you work with your vendors to figure out how to build those things. And then once all that planning process is done, it starts eight weeks out on site with our vendors. First vendors uh, this year, I think June 6th was the first day they arrived to start building it out. Mm -hmm. You know, a PGA championship like this really puts Greensboro on the map. Why do you think the Gate City is such a prime location for this sort of annual event? Well, the location is great from a regional standpoint, but there's a lot of a lot of factors that go into why this PGA Tour event is here. First and foremost, uh, Sedgefield Country Club and the Donald Ross design. It's almost a 100-year-old design, and that's not the kind of golf course that these players get to play on a weekly basis so it's a treat for them you hear them talk about how much they love the greens and how much they love the, the old school layout it's just a treat for them so that that probably is the first thing that predicates um, this load this being our location for the pj tour schedule and then the next thing is um, just the location in the central part of the, the carolinas here um, you know we're easily accessible um, regionally in so many different ways um, on the, in the air or on the ground. So people can come from Charlotte, Raleigh. We have a lot of people that come from Virginia and, and all over to make it kind of an easy day trip.
Mm -hmm. Excellent to hear from you, Bobby. Thanks so much for your time. That'll do it for us. Enjoy your day. And the Wyndham Championship is happening today through Sunday. It's at the Sedgefield Country Club in Greensboro. For tickets and to see the full tournament schedule, head to WyndhamChampionship.com.